Megan steals a British milk recipe to sell to America. A dark ending for a stupid public relations trick. Hello friends and welcome to the breaking news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. Meghan's kindness public relations column continues to air and at this time she just didn't save one person or a group of people, she saved America. Do you believe it? The source said, when Meghan Markle visited the United Kingdom in June for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, she made a covered donation to support American parents. Parents in America struggled to feed their children during the severe infant formula scarcity that plagued the country from May to July. However, after speaking with her buddy, Tyler Perry, Meghan resolved to assist. On Saturday night, Mr. Perry spoke to an audience of 800 people gathered at the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles to celebrate the annual Baby to Baby Gala. It discussed the Duchess's compassion in helping underprivileged children. He discussed the global infant formula scarcity and mentioned that a few fellow employees had come to him seeking assistance. Mr. Perry attempted to locate additional formula, but was not successful, as were other shops across the water. He got in touch with Megan to find out if the situation was the same in the United Kingdom, and she told him that she was searching stores for formulations for individuals in need. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have two young children of their own. Three-year-old Archie was born in May 2019 and Lilibet was born in June 2021. In an interview with Jamila Jamil and Shore Akhdashlu for her podcast Archetypes, Megan said that her children love vegetables. In her now defunct blog, The Tig, the podcaster and actor described Los Angeles as the holy grail of nutritious cuisine, demonstrating her devotion to eating well. Danielle Martin, a friend of Megan's, who works as a cosmetics artist, said to Gail King before Archie and Lilibet were born, the infant will undoubtedly be nurtured in a clean and environmentally friendly manner, clean and natural for the infant. Megan enjoys cooking when she can, and she eats organic. She went on to say, Megan is so kind. Can you imagine visiting shops in another country and buying formulas for those in need in the United States of America? I wonder if she got a discount. Did she buy them or send a staff person? I wonder if she claimed the secret import at customs. I wonder how many she bought. Ten? A hundred? A thousand or more? Keep trying, Megan, on promoting yourself. Tyler Perry is a fool calling her to ask if England had a shortage as she would have known. This article does not state what she did about procuring the formula. Another hoax. If she was so instrumental in obtaining formula, why wasn't she honoured at that event for all her efforts? If this is true, she would have been tooting her own horn about what she had done. Were they in the United Kingdom long enough? What did she do? Did she buy a few packs in each shop? If it was a worldwide shortage, was she then depriving babies in the United Kingdom? If there had been a worldwide shortage, how come Meghan was able to come up with some? And why is Tyler Perry suddenly coming out in support after he supposedly had them thrown out of his house for bullying staff? Exactly. Plus, they were only in the United Kingdom for, what, four days? They attended the Trooping of the Colour and the service at St Paul's and had their small party for Lilibet's birthday and they had a private meeting with Charles and the Queen. Now factor in the travel time to and from the events, meetings and travel to and from the airport, plus time for meals, getting ready, dealing with their own children and then sleeping. When did Megan get the time to be raiding the Tesco's baby aisle? During the Queen's Jubilee, when Harry and Meghan weren't given police protection and had just begun a lawsuit against the government for security, 
was Megan running around to collect baby formula to ship to the United States of America, alone and unprotected against all the horrible British people, and yet wasn't spotted once. I am just going to call bullshit on that. If it was such a humanitarian mission, why publicize it now? It is unbelievable and just another piece of nonsense. Tyler Perry may be a force in entertainment, but he should stick to what he knows. He can call her Princess Meghan until she turns colour. It will not change the fact that she is plain Meghan and not a princess. I know people who have run soup kitchens and food banks for decades, but yet they are never acknowledged. Day in and day out, worldwide decent people holding up communities, providing food, clothing, shelter and needs. Markle is a show-off. She is not a humanitarian and she is not an activist. She is a talker. All talk and know nothing in her past prove that she's ever been anything but a selfish, self-promoting cow who now progresses to the world's most hated liar. Yesterday, Megan was batching because she was not invited, and yet Tyler Perry thanked her, ha-ha, for pushing his elderly maid into the swimming pool. Plus, all formula imported had to be cleared through the FDA to make sure that all formulas met health standards for fear of quality. And the United States published that the United Kingdom donated formula long before that date. We had a couple of factories shut down for some reason and another that was still open but had a contamination issue, so that was also shut down. It took a while for them to get another factory cleaned and into production for more. If the story is even true, all Megan did was get a case or two for Perry's employee. She did not do anything for the average American mum who was struggling. This is nothing but an exercise in privilege and public relations. It would seem that America had discussions about easing the restrictions on imports of baby milk before the date of the Jubilee. Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom and Europe were able to ship millions of formula to ease the problem. If Meghan Markle managed to source a few cans for a friend, it was hardly a newsworthy event. She certainly owes Perry a few favours. Presumably, if not for her own use, she possibly contravened import regulations. Perhaps America should have had fewer restrictions in the first place. Megan would not have needed to go to the shop personally, because Amazon delivers the very next day. The article says she sought to help American families in need of baby formula, but fails to mention what she did. If she did anything at all, her aid mission would have been splashed all over the media. What a load of drivel. Her secret charitable gesture to help American parents makes it sound as if she organised bulk shipments from the United Kingdom at her own cost. What probably actually happened is that she sent one of her minions to Boots to pick up some formula for a mate's secretary. Let me get this correct. The kind gesture consisted of the showgirl going into shops to see if they had any baby formula. And assuming she got off her behind, which I doubt, and did that, what then? Did she find it? Did she buy any? How much? And whose money did she use? Did she send any back to the United States? In other words, Perry's comment was a totally meaningless and irrelevant piece of waffle and I don't know why he came out with such pointless drivel. What do you think about Megan's trick to upgrade her kindness? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. We hope you have found this video helpful. Do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it. Now thank you for watching this newsletter. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.